Hey guys, what is up? Red Panda Mining here, bringing you the, oh I can't believe it, 30th episode of the Community Mining Rig Showcase where we take a look at the coolest, freshest, and probably the most hottest, no pun intended, crypto mining hardware from around the crypto mining community. If you would like to be featured on the next episode, please feel free to join my Discord and post your mining rig, ASIC, FPGA, mining farm, or even just a PC with one graphic card. There's no discrimination here. But without further ado, smash that like button, subscribe, click the notification bell, and let's get started. Alright, so in the last episode we ended off with Geraldo. And in this episode we are going to begin with Nubasaur. Nubasaur, how's it going my friend? All right, let's take a look at the first mining rig pick here, and wow, okay, are there, are these uh, Frontier Edition cards? Vega Frontier Edition cards? Yes, they are. And wow, this, okay, so they're on a Vega, uh, Veta frame here with one, two, three, four, five, six, so, and then I, I, I see six more on the bottom, so total of 12. <laughs> Uh, Frontier Edition cards on this rig here, uh, 12 GPUs, that is insane, Frontier Edition cards, I wonder how well the, these mine, these must, they must mine really well on Monero, uh, Kryptonite uh, algorithm, um, wow, Nubasaur, if you see this, let us know what you're doing with this rig right now, if you still have it, and uh, okay, next up you got a picture here, a little messy, but was when Vega Frontier Edition just came out. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I was right, the Vega Frontier Editions, very nice. Alright, let's take a look at the next picture, and this already looks insane. Uh, okay, um, I, am, I am in shock here, I don't know what to say. Uh, okay, so we got EVGA. Okay, these look like the 1080 Ti for the Win 3 edition cards. Uh, and I don't know what those ones are in the back. They look like maybe 1070 Ti's uh, or 1080's. I can tell these look like EVGA ones possibly. And yeah, these ones are EVGA uh, 1080's or 1080 Ti for the Win 2 editions? I'm not sure. Uh, but these are really ballin' cards. This is uh, definitely a nice mining shelf here uh, that you got situated here with all these cards, Nubasaur. Holy smoke! Um, and I, I definitely would love this 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 setup here. This looks really good. Okay, so you have a metal shelf here, and you have a custom looks like a custom metal bracket that you put here on each of the shelves in order to hold up all the graphic cards here. So that is really cool. Let me know, Nubasaur, if, if I got that correct, if this is a, a custom little metal plate here that you put here um, just so you can hold up all of these GPUs. That looks just just amazing, just amazing. I think you got more picks here. Um, thanks for that pick, by the way. Holy smoke, Nubasaur. All right, and you got something else here. This looks like a what? What is this? Um, uh, I cannot... Is this a PDU? No? Yes? Yes! Okay, this is a electric... Yeah, this is a, a power distribution unit, I think. Yeah, definitely. Power distribution unit. And... Wow, this is, a, this is definitely a big one. I'm not sure how many amps this one can hold. I'm, I'm gonna assume maybe like... 120 amps or something like four different 30 amp circuits or something in this. This looks quite massive. Um, Nubasaur, let me know. All right, you got one more last picture here. Um, I'm just in shock and awe, and holy smoke, this is a very high resolution picture. Um, this looks just awesome. Holy smoke. Okay, these are a lot of 1080 or 1080 Ti's here uh, that you got here, Nubasaur. Uh, please let me know what. If you still have all these, and what you're mining with them, and like, uh, I just want to know more details. This looks just amazing. Again, I think this is the, yeah, custom custom little metal bracket here that you have uh, that's uh, situated on the metal shelf to hold up all the GPUs. And, man, this looks so good. Guys, I'm super jealous. This, this is my dream. This is something I want to have one day, 
And if there's some kind of investor out there that's willing to uh, uh, maybe want to uh, team up and do this, I'm totally down. But wow, Nubasaur, thank you so much for the pick, uh, for the pictures. And man, I, I would love some more information here. Um, I know that you're actually selling some cards on the for sale thing, uh, for sale Discord. So uh, let me know. And you guys that are watching, come join my Discord. Come check out. Uh, what Nubersaur has. Uh, he's not selling too much GPUs, but he's got some there. So, Nubersaur, thank you so much for the rig picks. Next up, guys, we got Tom Chen. Mr. Tom Chen, what do we got here, my friend? Alright. Alright, this is cool. Okay. Alright, so you got Lego. Okay, Lego here. Is this Lego? No. Or, this is, this is another word for it. I don't know the name. Uh... It's a special kind of Lego, or a, a different type of uh, Lego. I forgot what it's called, but... Okay, so you got you got low profile. I'm assuming these are GTX 1050s. Or... Yeah, these are GTX 1050 low profile cards. And that's pretty cool. I like that you have it sitting on Lego, uh, Lego pieces. That is legit. That is actually awesome. And uh, where is it going? Okay, so you have it going into an ATX case. Um, this looks like a Be Quiet ATX case, and uh, you got a one or a Seagate green one terabyte hard drive there, and looking really good. That's really cool. Um, Tom Chen, that is sick. Okay, yeah. Oh no, never mind. Uh, you said here three 750 Ti's and one 1050 Ti. <laughs> okay, that's sick. No, dude, this is legit. This is actually really cool. Okay, so your 1050 Ti is in the computer, and then you have the three ten, uh, 750 uh, Ti's on the bottom here. Okay, so I'm going to assume you're mining kryptonite on these 750's and uh, something else on the 1050. That's really cool. That looks really clean, actually, and I like that you have it on uh, Lego or um, whatever this stuff is called. Uh, I can't really picture out the name. I forgot what it's called, but... Um, Henry, if you see this, uh, or Tom Chen, if you see this, let me know, man. Let me know uh, what what you what you got these cards are situated on. Thank you for the rig picks. All right, next up we got uh, Mexar. Mexar, what is up, my friend? All right, so let's see here. We got a Veta frame. You got two power supplies here, uh, the EVGA one and a what is this? Uh, Z high quality. Uh, Z? I don't know what brand power supply that is. That That's interesting. Um, let me know. Uh, the, and then you got a Gigabyte motherboard with six different GPUs here. So you got a Gigabyte one, Asus, Gigabyte, 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 Gigabyte. Okay, I'm assuming these are all NVIDIA cards. I'm going to assume these are 10. These look like 1070s. Yeah, because they have the one PCIe uh, power on each card. So these are 1070 or 1070 Ti's. So very nice looking cards, Mexar, and you got one computer here, 888 poker, so you like poker, eh? And you got a Zalman Z11 Neo case, I think this is a Zalman case, very nice, I can't see what card you got in there. That looks like, oh yeah, a Gigabyte card, okay, very nice, Antec uh, CPU cooler, uh, looks like you got RGB RAM there, um, but right on, looking good. Mexar, thank you for the rig picks. Thank you so much. All right, next picture. Oh, we got another picture from Nubasaur yet again. And holy smoke. Okay. All right. Uh, these. Okay. Um, this looks really good. So these these cards look like the limited edition limited edition RX 580 uh, Sapphire cards. Sapphire limited edition cards. And. Wow, that looks really good. They look like you're u they're using Gigabyte motherboards because I can tell from the amber LED lights on them. And wow, looking good. Are these Veta frames? No, these are not Veta frames. Uh, these look like the cheaper frames on Amazon. I think they're like 15, 20 bucks or something. But Nubasaur, looking good. Are these all your rigs? Let us know. Let us know. That looks looking really nice, Nubasaur. Okay, uh, next up we got um, a Chinese name here. I don't know what that Chinese character is, but uh, welcome. And the reward for most ghetto rig goes to... Oh, okay, let's blow this up. Ghetto, ghetto rig award. Let's see this here. Okay, 
Uh, uh, what is this? Okay, so you got a a pretty much gutted ATX case, I think. This looks like a gutted, no, server case. I'm not sure. And you got them as situated at the top here with one, two, three, four, five, six GPUs. And it looks like, is this a HP server power supply? I think this is a HP power supply. Uh, or is that an ASIC? I cannot tell. And you got a fan pointing at them. Uh, I've seen more ghetto. I've definitely seen more ghetto. Um, uh, Chinese name guy. Um, but looking good, my friend. I like this. I like this. Let me. If you see this video, please give me more specifics. I can't tell what cards these are, but I think you're running a HP server power supply. But this looks really uh, intuitive and uh, looking good, looking good, my friend. Let me know. Okay, thanks for the rig pick. Uh, next up, we got Ekornik. Ekornrik. Sorry, I butchered your name. Um, what you got here? One 1050 and one 1050 Ti, and I will add two 1050s. Ah, okay, okay, okay. So. Okay, so right now you just have the motherboard sitting on the, an H110 box, so this is the H110D3A motherboard with two GTX 1050s, and you're planning on adding two more uh, as you post this pick. Very nice. It's I'm about a month behind on rig picks, but you probably already added two 1050s already by now. So if you see this picture, if you see this now, um, uh, E. Cornick, let me let me know, man. Let me know. Thanks for the rig pick, man. That looks pretty cool. I like how you have the monitor sitting on top of this, like, is this a power distribution unit? What is this? Anyways, uh, you got the Cooler Master power supply, looking great, my friend. Thank you for the rig pick. Um, okay, next up, we got Crazy Rabbit. Crazy Rabbit, what's up? My first mining rig with 5X Nitro RX 580s, Forza 1200 watt power supply, and an Asus B250 mining expert. I want to make my first mining rig special and I put a little display and installed, installed NiceHash OS because I'm very proud of Slovenian Masterpiece. Ah, you're Slovenian. Yes, because NiceHash is Slove uh, from Slovenia uh, people, uh, a software made in Slovenia. So, okay, this is really nice. This is actually a really ballin', really good looking rig. Man, this just makes me appreciate like people that appreciate making mining rigs looking good I man I'm, I'm gonna work on making my mining rigs look better now because this kind of stuff just uh, it just gives me such like chills on the back of my spine my hairs go up on my arm like this this kind of stuff just is just awesome like I, I hope you guys feel the same because I'm like pretty passionate about crypto mining these past couple years and I've been into this for a while now and just, I just appreciate people doing this kind of stuff, just making them look good, uh, putting a little screen, you know, adding that little, that little flair to it. And man, this is really nice. This is really nice, um, Crazy Rabbit. I definitely appreciate this picture, man. Looking really good. I like this. I like that little screen. I definitely want to try one of these. I've definitely seen these on a couple of rigs on other people's mining rigs. So. Um, I'm definitely gonna check that out after this actually and you got one two three four five Sapphire Nitro cards on here just beautiful and you said you had a 1200 watt Forza power supply with nice blue LED fans there really looking good crazy rabbit I appreciate you man thank you for the pick and uh, your comment here that that's that's really wholesome all right Next up, again, we have Nubasaur, my first RX rig I built back in 2016. Okay, been running it nonstop for the past three years. Oh my god, yes, okay. Nubasaur, you are are one of the, you're quite an OG, actually. So three years ago, you built this rig? This is nice. I never seen this mining rig, mining frame before. Okay, I can tell, I can tell, actually, you've been mining on this rig for the past three years. Because this is an, a Corsair AX 1200i power supply. And the Corsair AX power supplies came out quite a while ago. Definitely more than three or four years ago. And I tell you, these power supplies are boss power supplies. Really nice. Platinum efficiency. And I can definitely tell you've had this for a while now. So, <laughs> Nubasaur. Very nice, my friend. Look at these cards, man. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Sapphire. 
Nitro cards or Sapphire Pulse Pulses. Uh, yeah, Sapphire Nitro Nitros or Pulses. Very nice. Nubasaur, you are a guy with a lot of nice rigs, a lot of nice rig pictures. So let me know how you're mining with those now. Um, some of my other personal rigs. Ah, here we go. Actually, what I realized is you have a lot of those big mining farm rig picks above. And I think you said you were a consultant, a mining consultant. So you did a lot of these big mining farm stuff. So hats off to you, man. I need more of those rig pictures. That's 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 awesome of mining farms. Uh, okay, so let's just take a look of your personal rig pictures here. And wow, man, look at this. So RX570 Gaming Twin Frozer uh, 5 or 7. Is that a 4? Oh, 6. Okay. Oh, no. 5 or 6. Yeah, Frozer 6 cards. Very nice. These are really nice MSI cards. Man. I just appreciate this so much. Really looking good. Nubasaur, looking good, man. I definitely appreciate your rigs here. Super clean cut. Man, I... After this video, man, after this video, guys, I'm gonna, like, relook at all my mining rigs, and I wanna, like, redo them all. I don't care how much it costs. I, I just wanna make them nicer again. Uh, make them nicer. Uh, but, man, look at this, Nubasaur. Look at this. You got four Asus Strix cards here and another four MSI cards. And then you got another Asus... What are these? Strix? 570s? 580s? No. Asus, um... Uh, what are these? What are these? These are the... Expedition cards? I'm not sure. I, I don't remember. But, man, that, that looks really good. Uh, it looks like you've had these for a while, too. But I can tell by the mining frames. And, uh, Nubasaur, what else? You got a whole bunch more here. I like this. I like this so much. Two XFX cards. Very nice. The LED versions. And you have one, two, three, four, five, six. Wow, what are these? These must be NVIDIA cards. So, I'm gonna assume... Are these... Yeah, so they have one PCIe power. And these must be 1070s. Okay, so these are the blower style cards, except for the last one. Uh, the Zotac looks like the Amp Edition card. Very nice, Nubasaur. Uh, let's keep going here. You got some more here. Oh, man, just seriously, some nice pictures here. And... Uh, Asus Strix cards. Very nice. Okay, so this is another uh, picture of the cards that you have here. Okay, very nice, Nubasaur. Man, I'm just in awe right now. Okay, and you have one last picture here. Let's just take a look. Okay, okay, okay. Alright, I'm... Yeah, you have, uh... This must be definitely one of those consulting jobs that you did, or unless this is yours, let me know. You have a lot of GPU, GPU mining rigs or server for you rigs here. Oh man, that is a lot. I don't even know... I, I'm just in shock. I have absolutely no words to say. I, I, have, I, don't, I, don't even know what to, I don't even know what to say right now. This, this is a lot of power usage consumption here. A lot of rigs. Uh, I'm gonna assume these are like AMD cards of some sort. Mining cards maybe? Or heck, like P104s, P106s? Uh, something. Man, that looks crazy, guys. Man, everyone, please comment. Let me know what you guys think about this. And uh, man, I'm gonna end it off there. I'm, I'm at a loss for words right now. I'm just, I'm just too in shock of how many nice uh, rig picks are that are on this episode. You guys are just nuts. So, anyways, guys, I'm gonna end it there. I appreciate you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you think. And um, man, smash that like button, subscribe, all that good stuff. Feel free to click on my Amazon affiliate affiliate links below. It helps me and helps out the channel and any products I, pro, projects that I do. And uh, hopefully I give value to you guys in any way, shape, or form as much as possible. I, I'm passionate about this stuff. I love crypto mining. And I hope to be in this for a long time. So, thanks for watching guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one. And peace out.